Evan with High Pro Strategic here. We're gonna talk about self-defense with baton. So with a collapsible baton, first thing you can do is you can put your thumb over the top where it extends out to keep it in there. And you can actually use it to fight somebody by stabbing them with it like this or hitting them across like this. And then if you're gonna extend it, there's a couple different techniques that I'll show you. So the first technique is up. You bring it up like that. And when you, when you bring it up, you flick it and it'll come right out. Another way with the baton is down behind you like this. That way you bring it out, but you're not gonna attack the person. You're just showing the force that you are extending your baton so that you can use it. Now, unless the person's got a gun or a knife, you don't want to extend the baton out in front of you. The main reason for that is if you extend it out in front of you, you could accidentally hit the person without planning on hitting them. Now, once you have the baton extended, the main areas you wanna to try to strike with, if you're not going for lethal force, is right here in between the knee and the thigh, right here in the meaty part of your leg, that will hurt like a son of a, and then also on the inside of the leg right here, same thing, middle of the knee and your thigh up here, right there. And then in the arm, you wanna hit right in between the elbow and the shoulder, so right here. And then of course, you know, if they've got their hands up or something like that, you wanna to try to refrain from hitting somebody in the ribs, you'll crack a rib easy. And if you hit somebody in the neck or the head, that's deadly force. Obviously, if they've got a gun or a knife and this is all you got, deadly force away because they could kill you with a gun or a knife. Once you have your baton out and you've already got the threat to run away or you've got back to wherever you need to be or you need to put your baton away, uh, batons don't just collapse unless you have specific ones where there's a button that you can push that'll collapse down. Now, I don't really think that uh, ones that have buttons on them are necessarily the best because you could accidentally hit that button when you're striking somebody and it'll collapse down on you without you wanting it to collapse down. Um, typically with these, you have to strike it on something like concrete to get it to collapse. Um, so if you're trying to put it away in a pinch, uh, one of the best ways is just shove it through your belt like this without getting your shirt cut. And it'll stay in the belt like that. You could come back out to reuse it if you need to, but that way you don't have to try to fit it back in the pouch that it came in or that you would carry it on or back in your purse because it's not gonna fit. 